We begin tonight with a deadly drug and the impact that it's having on one West Michigan community. Today, a jury was seated in the trial of Carrie Wickham, charged with providing heroin to a Portage teen who later overdosed. This is a story that we've been following for the past three years as West Michigan's heroin problem continues to grow. 24-hour News 8's Ken Colker reports tonight from Kalamazoo. It started last year with a 911 call from a mother asking for help. Portage 911. I uh, yes, I need an ambulance. Uh, my daughter is not waking up and she's making weird noises. Today it has led to a Kalamazoo County courtroom where a young woman accused of providing the heroin that killed Amy Bousfield is standing trial. But police say while the death and several others in the Kalamazoo area got a lot of attention last year, it doesn't appear they have led to many changes. Heroin, they say, is as prevalent as ever possibly more so. The Kalamazoo Valley Enforcement Team has seized more in the last two years than in the previous ten. And we're finding that more and more people are dealing, or drug dealers are dealing in heroin. And we also um, are finding more people it seems that are actually taking heroin. So it's kind of a resurgence compared to what you know, used to be back in the late 60s and 70s. It was his team, KVET, that worked on the recent three-pound heroin bust between the cities of Kalamazoo and Wyoming. That case is pending. We were making more arrests. Uh, we've seized more heroin last year than the previous several years, and we broke that um, seizure record already this year, and, and it's still on the rise, and we're trying to hit it hard. But um, we need to be cognizant that uh, the problem is not over. The problem is getting worse. Heroin, he says, crosses into most demographic lines. Actually, we're, seeing, we're not seeing older people, but we're seeing the, the range anywhere from, I guess I would say, 17 years old to mid-30s. and. Uh, Race is irrelevant. Sex is irrelevant. Uh, we're, we're seeing all, all walks of life that, are, uh, that, are, that seem to be getting addicted to heroin. Today, jury selection began in the case against Carrie Wickham, who is just 18. It was Wickham, police say, who provided the heroin to Amy Bousfield, a young actress. Bousfield was among three Portage High School students who died of heroin overdoses in late 2007 and 2008. Wickham's co-defendant, Joseph Wheeler, a 22-year-old from Kalamazoo, already has pleaded guilty and was sentenced to a year in jail. He has agreed to testify in this trial and to undergo treatment. If convicted, she could face up to life in prison. In Kalamazoo, Ken Kolker, 24-Hour News 8.